<laughs> Hello. It's, uh, well, where are we? It's about half past three in the afternoon. And it's been one of those days where uh, I probably haven't done <laughs> an awful lot today. It certainly feels like I haven't done very much, uh, but have achieved a couple of things. Now, we are right at the back of the piggeries at the moment, heading towards the beehive, because uh, having promised myself I would uh, section the beehive off so that uh, the chickens didn't upset the bees, I've done exactly that. So Mr J and I came out this morning. Uh, this certainly wasn't a sole effort. Um, and we've just popped uh, some of this flexible uh, chicken netting, which would normally be electrified. Uh, but do you know what? Mostly our chickens, mostly our chickens respect it. So I've popped that around where the beehive is. And uh, this was, this was head height full of weeds. And they're now, oh, I don't know, around knee height uh, or maybe thigh height in some places but uh, it's getting much better so i'll be able to tidy all of that up soon but so i've popped i've popped the fencing around and i did a double check to make sure that uh, they on there there is a a metal strip with holes in it that's big enough for the bees to get in and out of but the holes are small enough to uh, prevent mice uh, from getting in there or from other animals pulling out the uh, foam, uh, the foam strips that we've put in to uh, preserve the heat in the hive for the winter. The chickens are a little miffed at not being able to get in <laughs> with the bees, uh, but they'll soon they'll soon learn to cope. Come on then, Jack. There's a good girl, and they have been enjoying the extra space up there today hello girls hello are you all right oh you're very lovely so apart from getting the netting around the uh, where the beehive is and um, i've done a bit of washing and cooked a meal and all those things but uh, i haven't really done very much uh, outside because because it's pretty nippy <laughs> and uh, we are only two days away from you're right Elvis we are only two days away from uh, the shortest day longest night uh, and I will be so pleased when we get there uh, and out the other side of that uh, darkest part of winter now I'm going to say now that uh, I would rather have wet and windy weather uh, and some light than this lack of light uh, <laughs> but don't hold me to it because I'm fairly sure when we get to the point of there being <laughs> uh, day after day of rain and wind uh, I have no doubt I'll be grumbling about that too uh, I've, you know I have done something else today I have I spent about an hour in the uh, vegetable garden this morning, weeding. Uh, I just did a chop and drop on, on all the annual weeds I could find there. And this afternoon I've let the ducks out for a little while to have a dibble through the food forest, pick up as many slugs and snails as they can. And it really won't be very long before they are uh, they're heading back to their house uh, because it's almost bedtime seems odd to be going to bed at half past three in the afternoon but uh, while it's been so dark uh, in the early afternoon I have been uh, sorely tempted <laughs> to join them well no not not in their house uh, but but also to go to sleep for the day and I, I am really struggling to to stay awake uh, long enough to <laughs> go to bed at a reasonable time let's go in have a cup of tea I got in to uh, find that Mr J had very nicely already made me a cup of tea and it's uh, it's hot oh really hot and uh, and is here waiting for me well that's nice so he knows me well <laughs> if I've walked outside for a few minutes 
chances are I'm going to want a cup of tea when I get back in so where are we 19th and um, uh, it hasn't been a bad autumn and it hasn't been a bad winter so far uh, I am I am really starting to struggle with the light levels and the, the temperatures at the moment I have got uh, I've got bits of radars going on on my hand and feet uh, most of the time no not it's not all the time uh, but several hours a day uh, I have got either my hands or my feet are uh, are white and that's yeah you know, it just makes it a bit a bit miserable I, you know and I'm I'm just really conscious that it could be an awful lot worse um, you know we've got friends and family who are who are struggling with big illnesses at the moment um, and it puts everything into perspective nonetheless uh, I know you don't mind me uh, grizzling about the old grizzle um, and knowing that yeah, it's just an old grizzle uh, there are no answers to these things I just need to um, well I need to stop grizzling but that's life isn't it Today I went online to try and place a an order for a food delivery, uh, thinking I don't think I really after yesterday's fiasco of twenty minutes in a shop <laughs> and grumping about it, uh, I didn't think I could face uh, doing another shop this side of Christmas. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll just go online and order a few bits. Well, all the local supermarkets, uh, any any delivery slots have already been used up. Uh, so there will be no more deliveries between now and the 27th of December. Uh, so I've, I've got to make some decisions. And this afternoon I had a bit of a chat with uh, Mr J. Actually I had a bit of a light bulb moment because one of the things I want to do is I want to buy the ingredients to make uh, the fudge that my dad used to make for us all. Uh, he used to make us, uh, we used to make fudge when we lived at home, but after we'd left home uh, every Christmas he would make us a little tray of fudge each uh, to take home with us at the end of Christmas day. And since Dad died in, uh, where are we, 2006, uh, I have done that. I have uh, made some fudge for uh, each of my family. And it's not a tradition I want to stop, but I don't have the ingredients here and um, it would require me to go to a shop to get them uh, as I can't order them online and then I just thought it's only fudge the world's not going to come to an end if I don't make it you know it's a, it's a nice tradition and it's a way of remembering dad in a in a funny quirky way but it's really not the end of the world <laughs> So I just went upstairs to see Mr. J and just said, well, I just had a light bulb moment. It actually doesn't matter if I don't make it. You know, Christmas is about, um, well, in our family, it's about spending time with the people that you love. And it's about spending quality time and, uh, and just remembering a little bit what Christmas is about. And just and being nice to each other. And Mr. J and I... Uh, do very little of a traditional Christmas uh, because we have quite a strong feeling that uh, we will just be nice to each other every day uh, all year round and to that end uh, we give each other Christmas gifts that last throughout the year uh, well it sounds like a bit like an advert doesn't it it's not meant to be it's just that we buy each other uh, a subscription to a magazine and when our magazines arrive each month uh, we say to the other person thank you for my Christmas present and it just it gives us a gentle nudge uh, each month that uh, that we've given something or that we've received something and we thought about what they really wanted so on Christmas Day uh, there is no there's no gift giving as it were um, we have a very gentle day together um, without a big hoo-ha and then my daughter comes over with the grandchildren uh, on Boxing Day uh, for the big hoo-ha <laughs> and even then it's uh, it's still fairly low-key as you know from my vlog yesterday I get a bit cross at all the commercialism um, that surrounds Christmas nowadays and I think the uh, the message has been lost so I had that conversation with Mr J and he said well why don't you just give the shopping list to me and I'll go and get the things after work that man is just he's my hero 
he's my hero every day in so many ways I just he's he's so lovely and he's so kind and he just you know he knows that I can't face the shops and he's going to do it for me what a star he is anyway that's it from me today I'm going to drink my tea and I'm going to light a fire and I'm going to get warm and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you're up to today I hope you stay warm and I hope you don't stress about shopping I also hope you can join me again tomorrow <laughs>